every moment thine. O sacrament of most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Kindly sit down in the presence of Jesus. We are really truly blessed because Jesus is so close to us. Those who are looking to Jesus now from Australia, Africa, South America, North America, Asia, Oceania, Europe, and everywhere in the world, Jesus is so close to them. And Jesus is so close to us. Today the Lord gives a wonderful promise. And this promise is going to be fulfilled during this holy hour. The promise word is taken from Psalm 103, verse 4. Psalm 103, verse 4. Jesus who redeems me from the deep pit and crowns me with life, honor, mercy and compassion. All of you lift up your hands and repeat. God who redeems your life. God who redeems your life from the pit. From the pit. Who crowns you? Who crowns you with a steadfast love? With a steadfast love and a mercy. And the mercy. Keep your hands down. Some of you are in the deep pit. That means there is no hope. It's not a small pit. You are in a deep pit. Even though you cry out, nobody will hear it. If somebody is looking into it, nobody can see you. So nobody can hear your cry for uh, salvation and redemption or re redeem you. Nobody can hear you. Nobody can see you because you are in so deep. It's a deep pit. But God Almighty heard your cry and he redeemed you and not only he has redeemed you, after that redemption, he crowns you with honor, long life, mercy and compassion. Lift up your hands. Don't say there is no way to be saved. Don't say there is no way to be healed. There is a highway where there is no way. In the Red Sea, there was no way. God made a highway, a dry land in the sea within split second. Exodus 14, 21. Extend our hands towards our problems now. Extend our hands towards problems. Moses did it. Moses extended his hands towards, towards God. Because they are going to be in a deep pit. A big trouble. There was no way in front of them. Moses extended the hands. God sent the Holy Spirit. Now when you extend your hands towards Jesus. God sent the Holy Spirit upon you. A favorable wind. Until your problems are over. A favorable wind. Extend your hands towards Jesus now. You may be in the pit of your sickness. Maybe in the pit of death. Or maybe in the deep pit of sorrows. Or in a great difficulty. Nobody can help you. Nobody can assist you. No medicine can heal you. I tell you, no medicine can heal you certain areas of your sickness. No person can assist you in certain areas of your life. There are some limits. But you extend your hands. Unlimited. Unending. Continuous help coming from God Almighty. Do you believe it? Yes, Father. If you believe it, stretch out your hands. Stretch out your hands towards the sea. That means towards the problem. Towards your pit. The Lord drove the sea back by a strong east wind at the night. And turned the sea into dry land. And the waters were divided. So there is a way now. There was no way. God has made a highway. And Jesus himself said, keep on extending your hands and pray. I am the way. John 14, 
says all of you say i am the way i am the way i am the truth i am the truth i am the life i am the life jesus says jesus says there is a way in front of you there is a way in front when of you when you believe in jesus when you believe in jesus keep your hands down so when you believe in jesus when you love jesus when you are with jesus i tell you the truth where there is no remedy one remedy will be revealed to you that's the message today this is a promise word where there is no way to solve certain issues in your life when jesus enters there is a way there is a little girl in israel during the time of jesus there was no way to get back your life mark chapter 5 verse 35 the author of the synagogue asked jesus come lord with me my daughter is at the point of death please come jesus said surely i'll come with you but meanwhile somebody came from his house and told him why should you trouble jesus now your daughter is dead your daughter is dead why troubled the teacher any further that means there is no hope survival further life totally nil after death who can do something nobody can do so this report came so what is the reply if you say lord there is no way in front of me jesus says there is a highway but for you there is no way as of now no remedy as of now no healing as of now maybe your father or mother in the ventilator no way or maybe your son is a drug addict no way to set him free no way why should we pray now why should we spend our time no way the person died verse 36 two verses jesus said what jesus said mark 5:36 first of all fear not take your cold fear not what do you have to do next if fear not then what do you have to do next you just believe that jesus can do it will you do that instead of that you are having lot of fear how this is going to happen lot of fear and also less faith fear and doubt is equal to sinking in the life matthew 14:31 fear and doubt is equal to sinking courage and faith walking on the water walking on the water jesus looked to peter saint peter turned a sinking peter it's a tragedy sinking peter walking peter turned as a sinking peter and jesus said man of little faith why you have the doubt and fear here we have seen that why peter walking why peter is sinking now why you are sinking brother and sister why you are not healed why your financial problem is not solved it's not your mistake not my mistake not the mistake of jesus that is the work of the devil in you creating fear and doubt work of the devil cast out fear and doubt lift up your right hand and say in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i bind and cast out i bind and cast out spirit of fear from me spirit of fear from me spirit of doubt in jesus christ spirit of doubt in jesus spirit christ spirit of my doubt spirit of my doubt in the ability of jesus in the ability of I jesus i ask you i ask wicked you wicked spirit of doubt and fear wicked spirit of doubt and fear get out of this world get out of this world keep your hands down when you say that oh i am saved i have courage i have faith what about your brother what about your sister what about the criminals what about the murderers are not are they not eligible to be saved you have to pray i bind and cast you out wicked spirit out of this world so every spirit when you bind and cast out together with a priest send them out of the world but it will come back don't do that also 
but you have to bind and cast out and send these spirits to the feet of Jesus. Then Jesus will make a escort so that these demons should not escape. Together with the escort of the angels, Jesus will send them to their place. Catch them and send them to their place of origin. You cannot do that. Jesus will do it. That's why you always we bind and cast out negative spirits and send to the feet of Jesus. Jesus will not keep all the spirits under his feet. Immediately he will arrange one wonderful vehicle with a lot of escort of angels, not AK-47 or guns or bomb. They have weapons. The word of God is their weapon. That's called the sword. Angelic sword. Don't think that all angels have one sword made of steel and bronze. They have word of God as the sword. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 17. Word of God is a sword. 4 verse 12. The word of God is double-edged sword in the hands of Sen Michael. Then what is in your hand? Triple-edged sword. Word of God has power like a sword. Even Heavenly Father take that sword. Isaiah chapter 27, 1. He took that sword to hit Lucifer. That is the portfolio of the Heavenly Father. Such kind of powerful word using against the devil. Devil cast out or be cast out. That is the sword. So the word that you used from the Bible functions like a weapon in your tongue. Amen. Amen. So, where are you now? Maybe in the deep pit and unremedied problems around you. During this adoration, the Lord is going to open a door for you. Going to reveal a remedy, the fulfillment of the word. You are in a deep trouble. Nobody can help you. But, Jesus has promised those who are with me, I will redeem you from the pit and I will honor you with a long life and I will crown you with mercy and compassion. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There is a man in the Bible, Psalm 40, verse 1. He was in the deep pit and also there is mud inside, more inside. Mary bog, some kind of gum like soil, and his feet just struck in it. He could cry, he could try it, nothing happened. Then he cried, nobody heard it, but only God heard his cry. Sometimes when you cry in the middle of the night, who will hear you? Nobody there to hear you. How many of you cried, but nobody heard? Lift up your hand. How many of you cried sometimes, but nobody heard it? Lift up your hands. My God, almost all cried. You have an experience that nobody heard it. That means it didn't produce any result. But the Lord gives you this guarantee. I will hear you, my child. I will just put my hand like a hand of the JCP and pull you out. Verse 2. And pull you out. Psalm 40, verse 2. Pull you out and put you on the rock and you are just walking on that rock with a sure foot steps are secure and verse 3 he has given me now a praise in my lips that means you are totally freed when you are singing or when you are suffering of cancer nobody is singing that time now you are singing praise song that means Complete problems are over. Completely you are saved. Perfectly you are saved. Just in your hands once again. So where you are now, maybe in a deep pit. Or maybe surrounded by problems. Or enemies. Or unsolved problems. Or birth defects. Yesterday I shared the testimony of Dr. Achar. Suffering of a hereditary disease. Brittle bonds. Nobody can save her. When she was attending in the retreat, the Lord changed his hereditary. And she has come several retreats in Logos and decided to be at least one retreat in Logos every year 
till the second coming of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because there is no one in this world who is able to save us like Jesus. Like Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So lifelong commitment to Jesus. When we take it and use it, and when we put our trust in this promise, Jesus accomplishes it. All glory and honor to Jesus forever and ever. Amen. So, brother, you have a hope. Sister, you have a hope. In Jesus. There is no hopeless situation. Then what happened to that little girl in, the, in Israel during the time of Jesus? Jesus said, Mark 5, 36, Fear not, only believe. Then Jesus said one word. Mark 5, 41. Talitha, Talitha, kum. Then she gets up. No hope, but there is hope now. Full of life in the family. Little girl, 12 years old, died. Nobody can give life to that girl. Except Jesus Christ, I tell you. And those who believe in Jesus also will give life to the dead bodies. Peter, Paul, St. Patrick, St. Francis Xavier. Given life even to dead bodies. Those who believe in Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When a mother and daughter came for the retreat, they decided to believe everything in the Bible what is written, the promises, and try to live and speak according to the word of God. But this little girl had a bad habit, sleeping long time in the morning. At night, may spoiling the time by doing this, mobile phone, that phone, this phone, and uh, morning not getting up. So both of them decided to speak according to the word of God and also to act according to the word of God. Then the morning after the retreat also she was sleeping and not getting up. She mother warned the daughter, Talitha kum, little girl, I ask you, get up. That's the meaning of Talitha kum. But no answer. Second time also she said doubtly, little girl, get up, Talitha kum. No answer. Third time she was so angry and pulled the blanket and said, Talitha kum. Then said, Mom, my time has not yet come. <laughs> John chapter 5, 2, verse 4, Jesus said to Mary, My time has not yet come. Woman, what do you think? My hour has not come. That's the answer of the little girl. <laughs> but when Jesus says to you something, Little girl, get up. Big man, I say to you, stop your drinking. Sick man, I ask you to be healed. When Jesus says something, there is a sudden reaction, sudden action. It will work out in your life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So think according to the word of God. Speak according to the word of God. Act according to the word of God. You will be successful. Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. Equation of success given in the Bible that think Act, speak according to the word of God is equal to success. Lift up your hands now. There is no hopeless situation. Five persons who have a gallbladder stone, painful gallbladder stone, now that is being melted. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Oh, holy mother of God. That we may be made worthy of promises of Christ. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. That we may be made worthy of promises of Christ. Keep our hands down. Mama Maria, beseech your son Jesus. For the fulfillment of all our intentions. Mama Maria, beseech your son Jesus. For the fulfillment of all our intentions and today's promise. Mama Maria, beseech your son Jesus. For the fulfillment of all our intentions and today's promise. Mama Maria, beseech your son Jesus. For the fulfillment of all our intentions and today's promise. Mama Maria, beseech your son Jesus. For the fulfillment of all our intentions and today's promise. Mama Maria, beseech your son Jesus. For the 
the fulfillment of all our intentions and today's promise. Mama Maria, beseech your son Jesus. For the fulfillment of all our intentions and today's promise. Mama Maria, beseech your son Jesus. For the fulfillment of all our intentions and today's promise. Mama Maria, beseech your son Jesus. For the fulfillment of all our intentions and today's promise. Mama Maria, beseech your son Jesus. For the fulfillment of all our intentions and today's promise. In the name of Jesus, I pray over all Logosians and all human beings. Let the prayers of the humanity be answered now. Who are praying now? All human beings be filled with the Holy Spirit. I apply the blood of Jesus on all human persons. Let them be relieved from the dominion of devil. And all those who are born in this world be filled with the Holy Spirit now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And the Lord may give answer of the prayers of all people. Amen. Amen. The prayers that we uh, formulate according to the promised word be fulfilled in the humanity. Amen. 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 So all human beings who are praying to God according to 8,000 promises, I give you promise together with the Jesus that prayer will be answered. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God doesn't show any partiality. Acts chapter 10, 34. Those who pray from the humanity according to the promise word, 8,000 promise word, their prayer will be answered. It's guaranteed. Amen. Because Jesus loves all human beings and ready to give answer of their prayers, but the prayer should be according to the promise word. One of the promise words from the Bible. Do you like this promise? Yes, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That is the promise given by Jesus now. I just proclaimed it. That's all. The that's promise is not mine. Jesus gives you this promise. Now we begin with the Divine Mercy Chaplet for the fulfillment of all our intentions, healing of all our diseases. First of all, I tell you, don't be depressed. There is a chance of healing of your diabetes. There is a chance of healing of your wheezing. There is a chance of healing of your HIV positive. One person came here with HIV positive. Nine days did an ICU prayer. And took a decision. Lord, 10th the day, I am going for a test. I cannot take up this burden. I cannot take up this humiliation. I cannot take up this message. I am going to commit suicide today. The test shows that HIV negative. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. That person told me, don't reveal my name until second coming of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And also, one uh, man came from Japan and he has given a testimony here. HIV positive turned negative. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Amen. Jesus. There are many people like that. So there is no incurable disease in this book. In the medical dictionary, there is incurable disease. Categorized. Incurable and curable. Chronic and less chronic. But in this book, no sickness is categorized as incurable. No person is categorized in this book as hopeless. No retarded children reported in this book that incurable. No autistic children reported in this book according to this promise incurable. This is curable. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some people are ready to extend lifelong support to some people because they think that this is unsolvable problem. But I tell you, extend your prayers there is a remedy of that problem. Now lift up your hands and pray. You aspired Jesus, By the source, source of, of life, life gushed, gushed for, for the, the souls, souls and the ocean of mercy opened, opened up for the whole world. O oh, found of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the, the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O oh, oh, blood and water which gushed for from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. 
Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty Creator of heaven, heaven and earth. earth. I, I believe, believe in Jesus Christ, Christ His only, only Son, our, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. Mary. He, he suffered under Pontius Pilate was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father Almighty. From there he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, life everlasting. Amen. All your concerns connected with the family, marriage, finances, offer to Jesus. All your difficulties, intentions connected with the family and finances, offer to Jesus. Eternal Father, I, I offer, offer you the body and blood, blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our, our Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, in atonement for our us. sins, and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world hence those who are worried about enemies liars cheaters exploiters black magicians sorcerers doers of injustice worry not these people are going to become your friends hereafter let us pray over our enemies through our striking and blessing prayer eternal father i, I offer, offer you the body, body and blood Lord, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our, our lord jesus, jesus christ, christ in atonement for our sins, sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world keep on lifting up your hands and look into jesus and all of you may stand up now all people are children of God. But some of the children of God already entered in the camp of the devil. And their faculties are utilized by the devil against the human beings. So now we are going to strike and suspend that faculties so that devil should not use it. Immediately we pray by blessing prayers, Holy Spirit come and utilize these faculties. Somebody's heart and argument is being healed. You, Your heart is functioning only 72 percentage. Now, 28 percentage also added to you. Amen. Thank, Thank, you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. One child, only 40 percentage heart is functioning. 
now that child together with the mother looking to jesus 100% the child's heart is healed thank you jesus praise thank you lord thank you lord praise you lord praise you lord some people have only heart pain in the night there is something like a burning heart they are being healed now thank you thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus so let us pray for our enemies and these enemies are trying to bring this world or create this world as a colony of hell but our intention to make it this world as colony of heaven so all the logosians lift up your hands we have to strike these people who are already entered into the camp of the devil and they spoiled their own life their own good life and spoiled the life of other people and destroying the peace of this world keep on lifting up your hands all terrorists all over the world strike them lord with all seven swords especially the sword of elisha messiah and saint gabriel all unjust war among us strike them lord with all seven swords especially the sword of elisha messiah and saint gabriel all liars cheaters exploiters land grabbers food adulterers and cyber criminals strike them lord with all seven swords especially the sword of elisha messiah and saint gabriel all persecutors strike them lord with all seven swords especially the sword of elisha messiah and saint gabriel all doers of injustice strike them lord with all seven swords especially the sword of elisha messiah and saint gabriel all devil worshipers sorcerers and black magicians strike them lord with all seven swords especially the sword of elisha messiah and saint gabriel all acceptors of bribes strike them lord with all seven swords especially the sword of elisha messiah and saint gabriel in the name of jesus i bind and cast out all that is coming from your enemies and sent these spirits to the feet of jesus philippians chapter 1 verse 28 what all that coming from these seven groups little children fear not do not be worried about it only pray their end of enmity will happen today they will be turned as your friends 45 people whose properties are grabbed by somebody they are returned it now thank you jesus amen 139 people who are the victims of cyber crime and lost a lot of money they are getting it back right now thank you jesus amen hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus there are many who are troubled because don't have much money to give bribe now without bribe your matter will be done Thank praise the lord, lord. Praise hallelujah. hallelujah because bribery is a crime that is to be eliminated from this world and sorcery is a crime that is to be relieved that is to be destroyed in this world all injustice is a crime all the logosians join together for prayer for world peace we are peace makers through prayers not by gun or sword or shield but by prayer and using the word of god we establish peace in this world and we want to see this world as paradise Amen. kindly sit down now we pray for the healing of our own inner wounds and these testimonies gives us hope hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus next year holy father francis first declared that year of hope so we have lot of hope in christ jesus and one year also going to be celebrated like a hope through prayer and faith we pray for the healing of our in uh, painful memories of the past if you have always worries and tensions you will have a lot of skin complaints eventually you will have uh, organ failures memory fading eyesight diminishing hearing deficiency will appear your sorrows has lot of side effects that's why bible says rejoice always i say rejoice joy is there in your heart now romans 
the joy of the lord is anointing that is the kingdom of god romans 14:17 nehemiah chapter 8 verse 10 the joy of the lord is my strength if there is no joy in your heart eventually you will not have any strength in your body 24 into 7 depression unhappiness resentment dissensions negative feelings you will have thousands of sickness that's why bible says first thessalonians 5:16 rejoice always again i say rejoice and that is the kingdom of god thanks with your hands on your chest your inner wounds are going to be healed now sephania chapter 3 verse 17 sephania 317 god rejoices seeing you in this adoration now god is rejoicing jesus rejoicing and saying that father god thank you for all these logosians those who believe in you believe in me believe in my father believe in the holy spirit even god himself rejoicing seeing you hallelujah hallelujah joy of the holy spirit sephania prophet sephania chapter 3 verse 17 the joy of the lord and you are a child of god seeing you god rejoicing thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus, praise you, jesus. so he will rejoice over you Amen. Amen. So now lift up your hands and pray eternal father, father I, I offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world keep on lifting up your hands the joy of the lord is in you now your strength is being renewed even god is rejoicing seeing you now look into jesus even god rejoices in you lift up your hands we have to rejoice in god in the name of jesus in the name of jesus be bind and cast out be bind and cast out spirit of infirmity spirit of infirmity unhappiness unhappiness anti christ anti christ and send them to the feet of jesus and send them to the feet of jesus in the jesus. name of jesus in the name Of be bind and cast be out bind and cast spirit out spirit of anger spirit of spirit anger spirit of depression spirit of depression spirit of allergies spirit of allergies and send them to the feet of jesus and send them to the feet of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus be bind and cast be out be bind and cast spirit out spirit of hatred spirit of hatred from the humanity from the humanity and send them to the feet of and jesus and send them to the feet of jesus the lord almighty may sprinkle his precious blood upon you and set you free from all your inner wounds and painful memories of the past especially trauma unloved experiences unexpected events happened in your life amen amen now more than of 7000 people are set free from their inner wounds thank you jesus thank you jesus we lift up our hands and we pray for physical healings by the wounds of jesus you are going to be healed eternal father i offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion how am i see on a sign on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how am i see on a sign on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how am i see on a sign on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how am i see on a sign on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how am i see on a sign on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how am i see on a sign on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how am i see on a sign on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how am i see on a sign on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how am i see on a sign on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how am i see on a sign on the whole world keep our hands down look into jesus the healing power of jesus just coming out from the sacrament all of you are going to be healed remember today's promise word psalm 103 verse 4 you are in a deep pit the lord is going to lift you up from your sickness from your sorrows and give you honor and love and compassion that will surround you touch this crucifix touch the wounds of jesus place that hand on your sickness and pray in the name of jesus i bind and cast out this particular ailments in your body cyst and tumor be melted and removed Amen. brain tumor be crushed down let it become dust in your blood Amen. let all your kidney stones and blood gall bladder stone be melted and removed amen thank you jesus spirit of cancer be bound at the feet of jesus you, spirit jesus. of diabetes cholesterol high bp be healed amen life style diseases be healed thank you jesus birth defects be healed thank hereditary you, problems be healed right now amen all of you look at this crucifix imagine that one drop of blood comes from the heart of jesus falls on your head and it moves this one drop of blood that comes from this heart falls on the crown of your head it moves everywhere in the body you are a infection in the blood is healed now by the blood of jesus, you, jesus. just imagine that your blood cancer is being healed you, blood impurity is being healed thank you jesus happiness be be healed HIV positive be healed cough and cold to be healed scoliosis being healed the blood of jesus moves the blood of jesus moves everywhere the blood of jesus moves in your blood reaches everywhere in the body all of you pray by the blood of jesus by the blood of jesus i am forgiven of my sins i am forgiven of my by sins. the wounds of jesus by the wounds of jesus i am already healed i am already healed thank you jesus thank you jesus for healing me for healing me thank you lord thank you lord now we pray for anointing of the holy spirit eternal father i, I offer, offer you, you the, the body, body and blood, blood soul and divinity of the dear labor of our son our, our lord jesus, jesus christ in atonement, atonement for, for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole For the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world For the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world For the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world For the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world Here I Verse four, you are in a deep pit. The Lord is going to lift you up from your sickness, from your sorrows, and give you honor and love and compassion that will surround you. 
touch this crucifix touch the wounds of jesus place that hand on your sickness and pray in the name of jesus i bind and cast out this particular ailments in your body cyst and tumor be melted and removed amen brain tumor be crushed down let it become dust in your blood amen let all your kidney stones and gall gall bladder stone be melted and removed amen thank you jesus spirit of cancer be bound at the feet of jesus thank spirit jesus. of diabetes cholesterol high bp be healed amen life stale diseases be healed thank you jesus birth defects be healed thank hereditary jesus. problems be healed right now amen all of you look at this crucifix imagine that one drop of blood comes from the heart of jesus falls on your head and it moves this one drop of blood that comes from this heart falls on the crown of your head it moves everywhere in the body you are a infection in the blood is healed now by the blood of jesus just imagine that your blood cancer is being healed blood impurity is being healed hepatitis b be healed hiv positive be healed cough and cold be healed scoliosis being healed the blood of jesus moves the blood of jesus moves everywhere the blood of jesus moves in your blood reaches everywhere in the body all of you pray by the blood of jesus by the blood of jesus i am forgiven of my sins i am forgiven of my by sins by the wounds of jesus by the wounds of jesus i am already healed i am already healed thank you jesus thank you jesus for healing me for healing me thank you lord thank you lord now